she remarried. I had a stepfather. And when I was 15 years old, they told me they were getting a divorce. And so I couldn't understand it because my stepfather like introduced me to sports. He was like a stabilizing factor in my life because my father was a nut. I asked my mom, I'm like, yo, like, why are you divorcing this man? She looked in my eyes. She said, because I deserve nice things and he can't give them to me. It, it fucked me up that a man didn't give her nice things. And so he was disposable. That's how I internalized it. Ooh. So instantly, oh, I'm not buying a woman's shit. My father lived in the hood, right? And we got divorced. My mom, we bounced around for a second. And then we wound up in this really nice house in this, in this really nice, like decent neighborhood. I never really understood how we were able to afford this house. My mom later revealed she had been saving up money this, her whole life for the oh, moment to buy this house. No. Oh. On her own. Okay. And she put down the entirety of the deposit. Oh. And that man didn't contribute anything into the oh. foundation of that home. And she never told me that part. Wow. I really just thought you was a gold digger looking yeah. for diamonds and golds and, and, and that, that changed the lens through which I saw all women. There's an effect of everything that we give our kids, like whatever we tell them, they, it can have the ability to change everything. That oh, yeah. one conversation. It goes one way or the other. Yeah. Bro, it can be that yeah. drastic. So yeah, yeah like yeah. give me all the information. Don't give me a part of it yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah. you're developing me. And mm -hmm. this conversation, I'm going to hold on to this. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm clinging on to your that's shit, true. ma. You my mother. I'm your professor, I will test you in the worst way Don't bring a scan, trying to pop quizzes all day Cause of our chemistry, we do biology What's happening fam? LAR movement, still moving, subscribe or die trying You see the thumbnail, you see the clip Single mother stories go wrong So I saw this clip a while, a while ago But I'm glad I saw it again to upload it To use it as a topic Um, For the guy in this clip this is why people give the children of single mothers side eyes because a lot of times you get taught to be scumbags and to praise scumbag stuff. And what I mean is this, by, by how, how, how that clip's laid out, and I, and I, don't, I don't believe it was edited because I think it was, it was like that one initially. But what he said or how the clip was made, it was basically his dad was no good, quote unquote. He had a stepdad that was really good. And his mama left the stepdad because he didn't get her nice stuff. And then they were doing bad for a little bit. And then she put a down payment on her home and they were living good. And then she said, well, you know, he didn't do nothing to help me get this. And at the same time, she had been saving that money up for, you know, since she's, I guess, been an adult, right? And he's, and it sounded good when he was saying it to him, but from another perspective, it's like, oh, your mama was using everybody around her because she always wanted to get a house on her own. That's what that that's what could be said. And and what I mean by the stories is, some of y'all don't realize a lot of y'all are, are not honorable people because you were raised by your mama and she wasn't honorable because. If she tell you initially that he couldn't buy her nice things and you felt some type of way about that, which I which is understandable. And then years later she tells you, Oh, I've been he he didn't help me with the foundation of this home. And let's just flip it and say she got they got the home when they was together. The foundation means what? He didn't put the down payment on it? But who was paying the mortgage every month? So think about that. Like like think about that. Because if they're on their own, the way he was talking, he, he, he knew that they couldn't live a, let's just say, a middle class life on their own. So if she was with somebody, he was actually footing the bill. So he's footing the bill, but he can't buy you nice things. So you leave him. So that's a scumbag. That's a user. That's somebody who's not honorable. That, you know, somebody who's planning their exit before they even enter the building with anybody. So this this becomes an issue in our society because people just nod like, oh yeah, 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 that makes sense. It's like, yeah, and that's why you hear so many complaints about people having bad character or, or, or bad morals or bad ethics or, or lack of integrity. It's because they were taught to be dishonorable people by their mom. 
And because, but but you can't say, Mom, that's not honorable for some odd reason or whatever. It, it, or it doesn't dawn on you because if somebody tells you one story one year and another story another year, you know nine times out of ten, you know, that first story they realized didn't sound too good. So they got to make up another one because the second one is something more palatable to you. So a lot of times you get the, these situations where it, it, it's, it, and I hate to say it this way, a lot of this dishonorable behavior only makes sense if a, if a man is on, a, on the bad end of getting screwed. Because if you, made, if you flip this situation and say uh, a man did that to, to, to women or a woman, it would be horrible. Like, okay, the man got with him. my daddy got with my mama. He, you know, we left. She was she was she was trifling, and then you know we got with her. he got married to Miss Leslie, and they were really good. She was really a good stepmom to me, and then he left her because he was like, mm, mm. she wasn't you know freaky enough or whatever. You know, she could she couldn't do. She couldn't satisfy me. I so was like, okay. You know, I, I looked at it like it was stupid, but whatever. And then we you know, we move around, we bounce around a little bit, and then we find this really nice spot. And I'm like, Dad, how did you get this spot? And then he says, okay, what really happened with me and Miss Leslie is I've been saving money ever since, you know, before I met her. Because one day I was, you know, I, I wanted to be on my own. So, and she would, she never helped me with anything to, to buy this house, you know, that we in now. So, you know, I had to let her go. I'm like, what? So you was doing, you was planning this before you even met her? You kind of, yeah. See, you, you ask those questions. But what you see nowadays is, you know, you get a story and you run with it and it's truth because mom said it. You know, so now, you know, now you got an issue. Now you got a huge issue because you take that ideology and that character into society. And some of you men and women, now y'all do it with men and women. And now an, another man or, or another woman is on, on, on the bad end of your um, lack of integrity. And some of y'all are shocked by the responses you're getting. You know, because some of y'all are telling these stories and these stories are one-sided stories, and even in your one-sided story, it's like, oh, wow. You do realize, like, I'm glad you honestly said all of this, but you do realize, like, some, this is completely wrong. I know you, you gave yourself a pat on the back like this. You, you said this part of it to make you feel right, but even that is wrong. And a lot of y'all don't get it. A lot of y'all really don't get it. And, some, and sometimes people will go, well, you know, it was a miscommunication. You know, I didn't mean it in that way. I mean, th there's more to the story. And it's like, well, fuck, why you didn't say the more to the story while you were saying it? Same way you got half of the story now that you're trying to say it, and then you felt some type of way with the half that you got, and then you got another half, and then to make you go, okay, now you want other people to do that too? So what happens is you got a society of people who are, Fishing for your truth because you got to change up your truth because your truth don't come off too well. And you get, you, you've been taught that, you know, all of these um, dishonorable behaviors have, an, have a justification or an excuse or it's tied to a quote unquote past trauma or, or past toxic relationship. And sometimes y'all don't take into consideration, let's just say using the guy. He, he he could have said his, his dad was a nutcase or whatever, but if his dad wouldn't have did what his mom did, like if he didn't use somebody in that, and it's like maybe your dad was a nutcase and your mom was a scumbag, you just stayed with the scumbag and you mad at the nutcase, so you don't realize you became a scumbag. But you but you got a you got a red flag up to, for identifying nutcases, but you got to understand other people got red flags for identifying scumbags. So you shouldn't be shocked when it's you, because sometimes that's the issue. Like, 
people come around and they, and they go, not me. I was raised what? Right. And it's like, no, the hell you wasn't. No, you wasn't. You was just raised to tell yourself you was right when you did wrong. It's a difference. Um, but I'm going to leave it at that. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been at the top of the universe? I'm going to take you.